A weather system delayed the A-10's arrival into Bagram, but nothing could keep them from returning. One by one, they landed and taxied into a parking area. A-10 Director of Operations, Lieutenant Colonel Cliff Bowman, thinks the A-10s are a good complement to the F-15s at Bagram. The A-10 has always done close air support, uh, and it's the, the airframe that uh, is most closely uh, related to close air support and what the Army thinks about. So from that standpoint, the A-10's back in theater is uh, at the request of the ground troops uh, in particular. Uh, to aid them in close air support. I mean, the, the, the Air Force does have many platforms that can do CAS, uh, but the A-10 has always been synonymous with CAS, uh, working with SOF and working with the Army, and, and that's the main reason that we're back here in theater. Ground crews met the arriving A-10s and settled them into their new home. The crews work around the clock, making sure the aircraft are ready to aid troops at a moment's notice. Take Sergeant Melanie Adams, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.